My name is Anita Nderu and these are the stories making headlines. One of the suspected gangsters killed in Ruruta area on Friday morning was a high school student who recorded a sterling performance of 447 marks in his KCPE examinations in 2014. The suspect, according to officials of My Shapur, a non-governmental organization dealing with street children, is an orphan who dropped out of school due to lack of school fees but was to resume studies this year. The organization has been trying to reform street children, most of whom were abandoned by their families. The six were allegedly found breaking into a shop at Kaviria area and while one was shot dead by the police, the rest was stoned to death in a house belonging to one of them. Some of the residents who spoke to Capital Newsbeat condemned the killings, saying they should have been arrested to face justice. Police are now warning of the emergence of criminal gangs across the country ahead of next year's general election. Inspector General of Police Joseph Boynette has told a news conference that they are already investigating individuals working closely with unnamed politicians to form or revive organized gangs. He says the individuals trying to resuscitate the illegal groups mostly work in distribution or manufacturing of illicit brews and want to use the groups to cause violence and solicit for money. Boynette's warning is worrying given the chaos witnessed in the country during the 2008 post-election violence, which left more than 1,100 people dead and more than half a million others displaced. Deputy President William Ruto has appealed to the Rift Valley people not to allow Jubilee rebels divide them. The DP says the Pesa Mashinani group that has joined forces with Kanu leaders, including Baringo Senator Gideon Moy, are only out to divide the Kalenjin community. He was speaking when he made stopovers in Londiani, Aina Moy and Boretti during campaigns for the Jubilee Party candidate for the Kiricho senatorial seat. Mimi nataka ni waulize, hii kazi Jubilee mefanya ndani ya miaka miwili na nusu, ata tukiwapatia hawa miaka hamzini hawawezi kufanya. Sijio kama tunaelewana, tumemaliza design Sasa tutatangaza in the next two to three weeks, maji hapa kipkelion tutajenga dam kubwa ya shilingi billion saba na million miambili. Na hiyo dam ndio italeta maji kipkelion east na italeta maji kipkelion west. Lastly, Chief Justice Willie Mutunga is insistent that he will retire come June, despite concern that it may leave the Supreme Court short of the constitutional five-judge minimum. The Chief Justice says it is imperative that the recruitment of his successor commence well before the next general election to avoid any last-minute hiccups. Speaking at the launch of a report on the 2013 election petitions, he called for a review of presidential petition timelines to allow the Supreme Court more time for deliberation and determination. He says it is also necessary for the overlap in the mandate of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission and that of the political party's dispute tribunal to be resolved. I have elected to retire early in June this year as part of this preparation by the judiciary to enable the GSC to recruit a new chief justice well in advance of the next election. For the latest on these and other stories, do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Capital FM Kenya. My name is Anita Nderu.